Well, here we are in my new Volano, which I wanted solar put on it. We had a 2014 Keystone Cougar that we had a four panel system and with the Volano we had a little more room on the roof to work with so we upgraded and added two more panels also but having a residential refrigerator required a little more a little more power so we've increased our battery bank too but here's Eddie my installer and I'm gonna get him to kind of help me out explaining our, everything and well, well leave it to you well Rush, Rush want, wanted to make a system where he can handle it boondocking and he had a really good boondocking system in his other one that we put in a year ago but because he had to have a residential refrigerator because they don't offer one in this unit um, we wanted to have enough battery power to be able to go through the night along with that and his CPAP machine so what we ended up doing is enlarging he had um, you had 450 and then you had two more, didn't you? Yep. Yeah, uh, yep. So four, five, six, 75. Yep. But we went and got him up to 900 and a half hours total. And he already had a TriStar PWM uh, 45 amp um, solar controller. He didn't want to have to take and throw that one away and get him one that would only go to 60 amps. Um, now he has, we took and duplicated it. This is pretty much the original system, and this is the new system, and we, we took and duplicated these, this system. We have two banks, two chargers that charge the bank. Um, each one of them are integrated together, both on the positive side, so that he can feed all his loads in his inverter, and then on the negative side, here at the shunt, so he can read the battery bank as one. So he knows exactly what's coming in and exactly what's going out. Didn't have that on the other one. The other one he could read out of the main bank, but the two extra batteries he hooked up later on after we put the solar install in kind of made it a little messed up. It, it, you were getting more than you were originally. But now he can get exactly what the amp hours are coming out of this. Um, we reinstalled his Magnum. Um, he's really pleased with it, right? Yep. Oh, yeah. very pleased. Yeah. That that's something we're striving for in our coach but his magnum um we reinstalled that that's the original most of the wiring is original that was on the other one we've done a lot of of uh cutting ends off and replacing them but we had to um when it comes to the battery wiring we installed a minimum amount of wiring in here um all the the switches and stuff are original we've um, we've just repurposed them for this installation and then as he said, the four panels that were on his original system that we'll show in a little while are still up there, you know, are, are still the originals. And then we added two more. So now he has uh, 870 watts, what we come up with, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah, 870 yep. watts up there. Yep. And two individual arrays. That way when the sun's hitting in one area, he's going to get it... Um, he's going to get the full harvest of that sun. And then when it goes to the other side... Uh, of his coach, he'll he'll still be making making um, some production. And on top of that, just like mine, if you have two individual systems, if something breaks, you're always you you be you'll be able to rely on the other system. If say this controller goes bad, you still have that controller. Or if something happens to the wiring on the roof, or you, you get a, ban a panel that's bad, or something of that nature, you still have redundancy yeah like when we if i have to work on a, ba a bank of batteries yep i can isolate i'll still have one side yep say this bank right toilet. here went bad you had a bad um cell in this bank it would short out if it was a dead short inside that it would short out that that um fuse and if it did that then you you wouldn't have to worry about it damaging this if this was a total bank and it was one big bank and we didn't have them separate like that through fuses, then it would completely shut your bank down until you got in here, found out which one it is, and they rewired it. So you always you always have the ability of running without, you know, with one ba battery going bad, you're still not out of 
out of production, you just don't have as much as you did before. Yeah, you know, basically got a backup. I yep. mean, it's, you got it's a, backup a backup for the backup. Backup for the backup. Yeah, and yep. that's yep. the way I run my system. I've had really good luck with it. So yeah. it, essentially, your system minus the the Magna sign um, is identical to mine. Which is the reason I'm he's here today because I seen that system and I liked it. <laughs> as you can see, very nice work. Right after I put that second bank in, you asked about it. <laughs> yeah. And, and, you know, um, one thing that's always been a question with me, why we had these breakers up there. Mm -hmm. The little bitty 60 and, or what are they, 60 and 80? Yeah, no, both of well, these one, are 60. Both are 60. This, your 80 is over here, and that's for yeah, your house right. loads. And what that does, the, the 80 will come off and, and go to the original house loads that, yeah. that this... Um, camper came with this camper. We ran a pretty thick wire over here for the house lids because camper also come with a thousand watt um, magnum inverter that that comes from the factory for his residential refrigerator, which is really good. I like that they put a magnum on here, but and it also has uh, a number four wire going to um, both the level up and the hydraulic slide outs on this unit. So that's also needs a lot of power. But the ones that you're talking about, the two breakers that are here, both yeah. 60 amps. They're, one, this one's um, a Pollock and this one's a Buzz, but they're about, they're the same yeah. idea. They're Sa DC breakers. Yeah, good safety devices. Yeah. You have two of these. We also, we have each individual array of panels, one here and the other one coming here. They, if you were to pull those, that disconnects the array from the solar controller. And if I was to turn these breakers off, that would disconnect the battery from the solar controller. So that way, if I needed to do anything, say this controller burnt out right, and it's bad, without sh taking all these battery leads and everything apart, all I have to do is turn this off and pull this out. And if this went bad, you want to do that anyway. Anyway, yeah. And then take it out and replace it. Or um, say you were going to leave this, this in in a storage for a long period of time. Right. You could take and pull the array and turn off the controllers and just leave it, leave it plugged in um, doing a trickle charge or something like that with the original Would, converter that came with it. Yeah, the, hat, the original yep. equipment that yep. was, yeah. And then you wouldn't have the magnum running and all that. Another good thing is if there's a short somewhere in this system as it's coming down, it will blow that breaker and kick it out so it's, it's, a, it's a safety device and it's a tool to shut it on shut it on and, you know turn yep. it on and shut it off For doing a little work if needed yep exactly all right cool breeze thank you you're welcome